Hey everyone, I'm DJ Henry and you're watching Inspired Cafe. You may have heard of some fabulous news. Shea Moisture has recently released a makeup line. I'm so excited that Shea Moisture has decided to release a makeup line. So a friend of mine told me about it and asked me to do a review on it. So I'm doing it for her and for you guys. Shout out to my friend Shannon. Thank you for the suggestion. I hope you guys like it. Let's get started. I decided to get four items. Um, I decided to get the illuminating powder. I got it in Tortola Tan, and I really like the packaging. That's something I definitely have to say that I like about this product so far. No, I got five products. I got the wet dry eyeshadow. I got the black volumizing mascara, cute. Shine on lip gloss. And I got a lip and cheek balm. Let's open up these products. Look at that. I love it. It's really pretty going along with the natural theme that they have. Very na uh, nice like bamboo-ish looking uh, packaging. I can read most of them. Lanolin oil. The second one I can't read. Third one I can't read. Castor. Part of it I can read. Oh, there's jojoba seed oil, beeswax. There's cucumber extract, leaf extract. So it's a mix. I wouldn't, I mean, it's not perfectly, totally, completely 100% natural, but that's kind of what it looks like. It's really pretty. I will be doing a look for you with these products. This is gonna be just a general overview. I will do the look in the next video and then you can see exactly how everything looks. Again, this is really pretty sleek. When you open up the brush, you find out that pff, kind of weird looking look. It look like, I don't know. It's just, it looks like a Q-tip. But the reason that I think it looks like this is so you can get really detailed with, you know, the different hairs and defining with the bigger end. And then you can also pull through with the smaller end. That was interesting. Let's look at the bronzer. I really like the packaging. Pretty and soft. That's the color. I didn't really like this packaging, but there are these things you can buy to put these in. So I guess you can pick your own, make your own palette. That's what it looks like. Um, that's the color. It's very soft actually when you touch it. This is the eyeshadow. I think it's really, really pretty. This is what it looks like dry. It's very light. The price, let's talk about the price, was decent. It was a lot cheaper than I expected. The lip stain was like $5 and so was the shadow. This was like $9. So, I mean, I think the price is pretty competitive. I really like the products. The products did not break out my skin. They were, I have sensitive skin, they're very soft, and um, I really enjoyed them. So now I'm gonna get ready to do a look for you with using these products. 